Hello besties, it's LB Twink and oh, welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, I haven't said that in a cool minute. I should probably start out by telling y'all why I have been taking a hiatus. I feel like as of lately, I've definitely hit that creative block. As the title of this video says, new month, new me. With a new month coming upon us, it's time for a bitch to be back on his grind. I just came back this weekend from a festival. I went to escape going to that festival and just kind of getting that reset. It's been literal years since I have gone to a festival. I needed that. My drive between my work life and my online life was starting to get like a bit overwhelming trying to push out content. And as much as we want to keep up and be authentic with our audiences, sometimes you just literally can't. And life lately has been that sometime for me. So I've been a bud tender now for uh, almost three months. I've been loving the bud tending life, especially the job where I'm at. I feel like the company I've been working for is a very employee based company, but along with working so much, I feel like I've almost like come to a point work is starting to consume my life and genuinely as the weeks go on, trying to juggle my work life, Twinkie Couture, and YouTube all at the same time is almost a bit overwhelming for me. It, one thing that I don't want to do is stray away from my passions, which I feel like jobs will literally suck the life out of you from your passions. When I started my YouTube channel, I was working at Forever 21. I was pushing out like so many videos while doing that. And you know what? That's great and all. Now as I get older and like as time goes on and I'm wondering like, what do I want to do with my life? We definitely want to give more time to the things I love, which is creating content. Like in speaking this, I think I need to go part-time at my job. Full-time? It's not for me. We're just gonna enjoy the day. It's like bright as fuck out here, but I'm at the Diamond Bar Skate Park. Shout out Diamond Bar for having a skate park. And I've never been here before. We're gonna look at this together for the first time. Low-key scary, but I'ma fucking do this. Also, I'm literally filming on my iPhone because I just keep forgetting my camera everywhere I go and I decided to just suck it up and just film an iPhone vlog. Let's go back to our roots. If you guys were ever curious about the pads I wear, I just wear the Impala. I just got a set off their website. Honestly, like them. Honestly, feel like there's better pads out there, but I feel like I need to skate literally to give myself serotonin. Oh no, there's a bee. <laughs> Guys, that bee is literally petrifying me. I don't know if I've told you guys before, but I'm like allergic to bees. But I don't know how allergic because like years and years ago, and I just need to shamelessly admit this, the last time I got stung by a bee, I was on acid. And then like the last thing I wanted to do was go to the doctor. It like started to give me a bad trip, but then I got over it. This was like when I was literally in high school though. If you guys were also curious and didn't watch my last skate video, big ass bitches linked down below. The skates I'm skating on are by Moonlight Roller Skates. And let me tell you, I spent a lot of money on these. I've been skating on the park for them for now about a month and a half. I noticed that the back of my boot is breaking, but I've just had a lot of problems with these roller skates. So I've been pretty disappointed. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> I am just gonna skate around for a bit with some headphones in, get the vibe of the park, and then I'll come back and do some tricks for you guys. Y'all wanna hear something fucked up? Okay, so it's obviously like <laughs> a lot of time later, like a lot of time besties. I never like, kept doing that video because I literally ate shit. Insert photo here of my road rashed leg because my moonlight roller skate, I'm calling them out by name because yes, I will cause a scandal over this. The heel tore from the back of the boot. And so I've been through hell and back. Those skates are fucked up. They've been fucked up. Hey besties. So I just want to come on, talk to you guys about these skates for a little second because I honestly have not had the best experience with my moonlight roller skates. I have had these now for a month and a half. I skate outdoors and I skate at the park too. I paid around $260 for these skates after tax and shipping. For that much, I would think that more than a month and a half would go by before the skate would literally start ripping from the heel of the boot. Mind you, I already have had an issue with these skates when I received them in the mail. One of them came with a toe stop and one of them came with a completely different plate that wouldn't even fit the right toe stop. On another note, I'm getting a new pair sent to me from the brand because they were under warranty. So I'm back in my Moxies. I reset them up yesterday and you know, I was completely gonna scratch that video and like just throw it in the trash because like that's how I felt about all my content lately that was like deep the weather out here in Long Beach today is very hazy and foggy so you know I just thought since I didn't give you a video last time let's give you a video this time roller skate date vlog my life is a fucking mess I literally have no plan on what to do should I go get a white claw I think that's what's gonna happen right now let the vlog continue onwards <laughs> I want to post you guys up. One more time.
did that. I just realized I don't have a mask, so how do I think I'm gonna get anything to drink right now? But then I realized I'm wearing a turtleneck. I'm definitely gonna be that bitch today. Not the facial contours. Why is that a serve though? Might be onto something here. Twinkie Couture turtlenecks coming soon. By the way, guys, and I'm gonna just plug this right now, but literally I've been pouring my blood, sweat, soul, and tears into Twinkie Couture and look at all the pieces I rock. Look at the festival outfits that I made. So literally besties, please go support my brand because everything is for sale. Get the Twinkie Couture look. Where am I going? <laughs> Bitch. I'm literally down bad as fuck. Just a trunk skating through the streets. We for sure secured what we wanted. So now I gotta go find a spot to post up. So one mission down, another to go. So this is illegal. I always like to say, do not do as I do. Do as I say, don't drink in public. And if you're gonna drink, don't drink and drive either. For me, I'm on roller skates, so that's not comparable. I just thought this would be fun and fresh to do together. So if you're taking a shot with me, now is the time. Get your shot of tequila, woo, and let's party. So we really just out here, you know, honestly guys, I have a confession to make. So when I skate, I do exactly this. Skating is a scary thing. So I have some liquid courage. So that's my explanation. Why are you drinking? We should really touch on that part, babe. Yeah, I ended up back in this parking lot. This will also warm me up because like, it's been cold in Long Beach. Do you guys hear that? What that really means is that you need to tighten your toe stop, bestie. I'll show y'all how I do it now. Welcome to how to tighten a toe stop with LB Twink. Today's segment, I will be teaching you guys how to tighten a toe stop. So the first thing I want to do is turn my toe stop. If you were looking at it, righty tighty lefty loosey as much as I can. Make sure you really get in there. And then you're gonna want to take a tool. This one, I'm gonna call this Octa tool. So there's a nut in between, but you see that nut right there, that thing we want to turn also to the right to tighten it. So do that till you get it in there snug. And there you go. That's how you tighten your toe stop. I just need someone in my We have arrived at location number two. I hate it here because there's like roaches on the ground. If this looks familiar to you guys at all, it would be because I shot a Twiggy Couture lookbook. If you're from Long Beach, bitch, you know what the fuck the pike is. Local family. Just kidding. This channel will be international. So cheers to that, besties. I feel like I'd be taking shots like a whale. A seal. Two down, one to go. Shit, adulting is real. Oh, let's see where the wind is gonna take me. I've gotta get away and let you go. I've gotta get away. Don't over. litter, you're a bitch. But I love you so. I'm a bug. A bubble gum right now. Bubble gum baddies, what's good? I love you so. So I'm currently about to take the last shot. Today is Bones Day. This is what we do on Bones Day. So I'm just kind of sitting out around down by the bridge right now. Gay ass bridge. Well, actually, I mean, it's not specifically gay right now, but it usually is. This one is to you guys for being so patient while I've like literally not gotten my next video out. Make sure if you aren't subscribed, you subscribe right now. <laughs> that was the worst for the bunch. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining me again today. I just want to say thank you for watching my videos and thank you for joining my skate dates even though they're unorganized as fuck and my brain might feel scrambled. It'd be like that sometimes. But on the flip side, we out here and I feel like we had a fun day today. For me, it was like low-key week. Cheers to you guys, seriously. I'm low-key fucked up. Shit we've been new. I would not walk, but I would run to Twinkie Couture to go shop all the new pieces. And I will leave that link down below in my link tree. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you follow me at LB Twinkie. And also make sure you follow me on TikTok at LB Twunk. Follow me on Twitter because you know what? My bitch has been tweeting a lot lately because I've had a lot on my mind. I'll catch you guys in another video soon. XOXO. LB Twink.